Okay, I'm back in uh, hometown where I left in the last video. Um, it looks like the water disappeared. <laughs> Maybe if I move towards it, it will reappear. Maybe it won't. Anyway, I'm here for the tour guide. He's over here wearing his uh, pilgrim bonnet. Let's double click him and get going with the grand tour. It's a hometown, we're already there. Etc. Uh, which is a new town next to the Etc. Crag Mines, which we've been to before. Nightshade Pass. Um, is a new scene. The Obsidian Fortress of Hilt can be found here, although Hilt isn't finished yet. Uh, Brittany Graveyard is the place where all the tombstones are, which will be pretty cool. And Mariah Overlook, uh, which is near Vertas. So, we will set off. And I assume we get out this way. Novia, there we go. So I have a cunning plan for uh, the loading screens. And this is uh, a Shroud of the Avatar interactive map. So at the minute we're showing so this hometown over here on the left, which is where we are. Uh, we need to head through Brightbone Pass, which is here. So basically, uh, past Old Town, past Alderis, through Brightbone Pass. And we're trying to find Exeter, which is there, look. So let's go. It's going to be a fairly long walk. Well, light jog, whatever. So, uh, skip ahead if you already know the way. You should by now, I think. We're just basically running along the coast until we see the snow. There's Ardoris. Home sweet home. So you can see that snowy mountain in the distance there, that's uh, the Brightbone Mountains and Brightbone Pass goes through it. It's a uh, control point so you have to uh, bash in the doors and stuff. The usual shtick for that sort of thing. Plenty of people about tonight. Alright, so we're coming, there's a road off, there it is. We'll see the snow. Hopefully we'll get to see some weather. Let's enter Brightman Pass. So you can't just run through it because it's got the gate. Because uh, it's a control point, that's, that's essentially what we're talking about. When we, when we say control point. Uh, I'm not going to try fighting anything at this point. I will probably die if I did. Hopefully it will all load fairly quickly. Now if you've got a load of money, you can pay the mysterious mage to transport you. I haven't got a load of money. I think I've got... Uh, well, I've got a thousand gold. Which, uh, which ought to be enough for uh, you know many things. A oh, nice set of armour. I should probably put my armour on, actually. Let's put the plate helm on instead of the goggles just for added protection. So, you have to bash in the gate. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Third time's a charm. There we go. Go on. Now we'll see up here, there's a control point. We're going to ignore it. 
We're looking it down here. Attacked by hardened skeleton mages. We're going to ignore that as well. I'm lugging it through the gate. Down the hill. Another hardened skeleton mage. I think we're going to survive that, which is good. I like surviving. Another skeleton mage. Place is crawling with him. He's out for a jog or something. There's a mysterious mage. Ow. So like I said in my uh, first look video, magic has received a bit of a boost in this release with a 50% increase in critical chance and 50% increase in critical damage. So while that's good for you as a player using magic, it's uh, also good for the NPCs. Right, so we're out. We're out from Brightbone Pass. And uh, if I refer back to my map, which was here. So we've come through Brightbone Pass. We want to go up and we want to head left to Exeter. So we're going to go across two bridges. Yes, uh, so looks like I left. So there was, uh, in a previous release, a tour guide at Exeter Crag Mines. So Exeter is new in this release as a town. It has uh, satyrs in it, I think. Which were new in the last release. But I've not yet come across any. That was one bridge, by the way. If you're keeping count. That looks like a mine in the distance there. <coughs> there we go. Etcetera. 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 Hard to say. In we go. Now. Because I uh, already looked at Enrico Gaming's uh, video, I have a fairly good idea of where the tour guide is. So, uh, shouldn't take too long to find him. Not sure how long this will take to load. It might be fairly busy, I suppose, if everybody's out trying to get their, uh, get their hat done. I don't think it's a particularly big, big uh, town, but it is. Uh, there will be story going on here in the fullness of time when it all actually gets developed. There we go. We're in. Looking nice. Let's just lug it. I don't think we'll get attacked here. It's a town. We're going to head over there towards the coast. Um, Looking for a turning of some kind. Right. It's interesting everything loading in as you're running past it, isn't it? It's around here, there he is. In his bonnet. Someone died. Someone died right there. I don't know why. Let's talk to him. Visit is recorded. I wrote this in my journal. So I've done two. Nightshade Pass is the one I want to do next. So we're heading back. I've not seen any satis. Have you? Let's go and have a quick look. Yeah, so there's one. Ah, oh, so satyrs. Yes, I've seen them in, in the mines. Obviously. So here's me saying they're new, and actually they're not that new. 
because they've existed. And I suspect what's new is the fact that they now they now play a role that you know they're peaceful. Peaceful that is. I walked over a watcher while I wasn't paying attention. I think this was the way I came in. So the combat tab there. If I want a good look. Yep, this is the way I came in. Yeah. There's a the satyr guard. Looking pretty cool. That's Entenovia. Right, let's review the map. So, we've been to Exeter. We need to head back. And we want to go up through Midras. Up to Traders Hill to Hilt. So, just uh, back over the two bridges to Brightburn, the road where we came to Brightburn Pass and up. Let's go. So I'm not sure how this new approach of uh, having a map will, will work in the video. I just thought it's something I'd try. Because I often have trouble, you know, picturing the layout of uh, Novia from running around it. Uh, I think in my head, it, it <laughs> I think it was a diamond when actually it's a square. And I think that's what causes my uh, most of my issues. Uh, so having a map to refer to, hopefully I will not be getting lost quite so much. Which has been a feature of these videos in the past. It is true. Right, so we're back here. There's the pass up there. We want to head up. Head up this road quite a long way. Passing some uh, towns and stuff. It is, it is starting to get fairly well populated. Is uh, Novia? If you think six months ago, most of this stuff wasn't even there. All right, now let's let's refer to the map here at the crossroads. So I've gone up from the right brown pass. So I want to go. Right. Hey, this this whole map thing. It's, it's a stroke of genius, I tell you. Across the bridge. Oops. Yes. Across the bridge. Yes. Well done. Alright, now let's refer to the map one more time. So I've come up, Traders Hill, Hilt. So I think I'm in the right place. Let's go for it. I'm assuming that's Traders Hill, is it? Yes, it is. It's very exciting. Very exciting, knowing where you're going. Very exciting indeed. So I suspect Nightshade Pass will be in the future a control point. Uh, I don't think it is at the minute, and I think that's because they've not finished uh, building the Fortress Hilt, which you'll see. There you go, Hilt is there. And I don't think that's built yet at all. And are we crashing? No, we're not. Oh, that's happy. Happy, happy times.
And this is a new, an entirely new scene in this release. Never seen before. Uh, from what I've seen of the pictures and uh, and Enrico's video, it's it's really pretty. And uh, it had horses in it, which is something to look forward to, I suppose. Uh, and you know, lots of bandits that will kill you. There's one now. Sorry, Mr. Bandit. Pretend you can't see me. How much damage is he doing? Quite a lot. But if it's just him, I'll probably be alright. Oh, wizards. Wizards. Wizards and archers. And wolves attacking rabbits. So it looks like I may die. There's a wolf next to a dead rabbit. There's a wolf, there's a bear. An imposing looking statue. There's wolves and bears attacking each other. Good for them. Better for me. Oh, here's some horses. So I said in my uh, my uh, first look video, horses are in this release. And here they are. Yeah, just proving it to you. Oh, there's a troll there, look. How cool is he? Oh, I'm legging it. Legging it. That troll will kill me. Oh, he's chasing me. Alright, so we're going to double click the tour guide. No, I don't want my soul. I don't want that out. I want to double click the tour guide. Let's see if I run through the archway, maybe he'll leave me alone. Skeleton footmen, skeleton archers. Attack him. Right, click the tour guide. There we go. Hello. Bonus. Goodbye. Run away. I'm dead. Alright, so there is this resurrection point over there. Let's carry on this way and hope there's one over here. Because we'll also get to run past all of these bad guys while we're at it. That looks like the way out up there. Looks like I'm heading towards a res point, which will probably be by the way out. So let's just hope I get there before uh, before it all. Uh, well, basically, if you don't reach a res point, then you get a massive penalty on your character for for several minutes. There it's my rest point, come on. Boom. And hopefully the way out is just behind it. Yes, I think so. Looks like it. So getting attacked by a troll did work out in the end. It's not something I'd recommend. Certainly. So, I should probably review where did I want to go next. Uh, and it's the... It was the Overlook. Let's uh, get my journal out and review it. Current tasks. Mariah Overlook. So, let's just look at the map. See if I can figure out where it is. There it is. Look, Mariah Overlook. So we're here. We can go two ways. So let's 
I'm going to go that way. Left bridge. No, right bridge. Left bridge, left. Let's do that. Right bridge. Left bridge. That's the bridge there, isn't it? Left bridge. Up the hill. Let's just refer to the map again. And we're up and round past High Vale. So that's what we're looking out for. A landmark on the route. Alright, Jonas Bluff. That high vowel behind the trees, yes. Nice little walled town. And then, I'm guessing it's through here. Let's just check the map again. Mariah Overlook. Right, so over there we're looking for another bridge. That looks like the other bridge. Is this it? No, Jackson. The U called the Highlands. Let's just check the map. Oh, I've gone the wrong way. Look, Jackson, the Highlands. So let's turn round. Turn round. And go. Up this way. I could be wrong. Possibly I shouldn't have come over the bridge. It was all going so well. All going so well. So let's just uh, review the map again. High Vale. Right, I've come over that bridge. I want to go over that bridge. There it is. Vertas. Ooh. Stop looking at the scenery. Concentrate on crossing the bridge. Badly positioned tree there. Overlook. We're in. <coughs> so not doing bad so far. Uh, Twenty odd minutes in. And we've got this and then we've got to run back to the graveyard which should be a nice uh, scenic place to finish. I'm not quite sure where the, the tour guide is in this scene. Hopefully it shouldn't be too hard to find. Oh, there's bandits. There's houses. There's wolves. Thugs. Yeah. 
Wolves, Wolves and Thugs. Ah, oh look, there he is. Greetings, Avatar. Progress. So we need the Brittany Graveyard. It's all we need to do. Oh, I've clicked out of the uh, chat window. So that wasn't too too strenuous. This uh, the, the backstory here is this used to be like an artist commune, and uh, basically it got overrun by bandits. And uh, oh. Let's kill the wolf. Got overrun by bandits and uh, and is now a shadow of its former self. Let's give you a bit of that. There we go. Uh, obviously, this isn't as high a level area as the. As the uh, pass. It's actually quite manageable. Just 13 points of damage to that wolf in my stone fist. I'm not going to bother stopping to fight anybody else though. Let's get out of here. Finish off the Grand Tour. Is that the way in? Yes. That might be, this might be a good place to come. Yeah, one school look. Good place to uh, hang around and build up some Build up some XP and some skills. You know, if you're a solo player, come come to this one first and uh, skill up a bit so you can survive the uh, the troll a bit better. So let's just check the map again. So I've come there. I want to go all the way back through Nightshade Pass to that Brittany Graveyard. That's what I'm heading for. So let's see if I can remember the way back. I'm going to go over the bridge. Need it this time. So this Grand Tour has been a, uh, a far more traditional one of let's let's all go in the new scenes. Uh, no, no dungeon crawling like last time. All reasonably well performing uh, areas. Now, what was it? It was this way I went, wasn't it? Yep, High Vale. Like I said, this is all quite well, uh, quite well populated these days. Someone's taken the alternate route there, I think. Now, where was the pass? Oh, is this the pass? What's this? No, that's just a wall. Interesting. Is this place called Tear, right? Or Tear, maybe? Cross the bridge. There we go, there's the pass. We're on, the, we're on the right track now. Now, do I have to... Yep, so it is a control point, and I can't get through it without entering it, so we'll have to, we'll have to fight our way back through, and when I say fight our way back through, what I mean by that, obviously, is run like a big scaredy cat back through. And then once we're on the other side of... There we are, there's where we are. Sanctus Spine. So I'm presuming that isn't 
that's a control point that's not implemented yet. But once we're back through, it's not far to uh, Brittany, just to cross that way. Spindrift Bay. Oh, that's pretty nice. We're nearly in. My uh, video recording is going a bit nuts at the minute. Hopefully it won't impact the quality too much. So let's try and not, uh, not offend any ogres this time. We'll probably see some more horses. I will not stop and gaze upon them. <laughs> Pause the video. That's what I'm saying. If you want to look at the horses, Pause the video and look at the horses. I am lagging it. Look at all of these wizards. You can see as we go and pass, there is uh, quite a few resources lying around. There was a lot of cotton there. Oh, a grizzly bear, cool. More cotton. Archer. Timber wolf attacking the archer. Good, good wolf. Gotta love it. Timberwolf attacking a rabbit. More wolves. There's some horses. So here's where the ogre is. Again. Logging it. Logging it. Not even pausing. I think he might be chasing me again. I'm not going to slow down and check. There's the horses. I know you wanted to see them. Timber walls attacking something. So unlike the uh, the other control points we've seen, there isn't actually a gate to uh, not a stag attacking a wolf, a gate to break down. It is just a gauntlet to uh, fight your way through this one. I think it would be pretty cool to do with the got, got a party of people. Let's leap out of the way of him. Try not to die at this late moment. Clearly, there's no point me standing and fighting big mobs of people like this when I'm by myself, unless I was massively higher level. And then probably it still would be pointless fighting them because they would just be standing there swinging. And not doing me any damage at all. So I think it's a, uh, I think it's a bit of a party, a bit of a party map. Definitely taking on that ogre. That would be quite fun. I wonder how long it would take you, and whether everything else would respawn while you were fighting it. That would be. A, it could all get a bit frantic. I think. So anyway. On we head. And then the graveyard should be up here to the left. There it is, Brittany Graveyard. And this is Brittany, is it? No oh, breakers landing. Or oh, is that Brittany with a castle? Let's just check. Alright, that's pretty cool though, doesn't it? Pretty graveyard, in we go. Now, in case you haven't noticed all the big red text on my uh, chat window while I've been doing this, there is a bug at the moment which they're planning to f fix with the next uh, release, I think. If you finish at hometown rather than starting at hometown, then you don't get the hat. Uh, this will be a bit sad. So here we are, last graveyard. I don't know where do these go. Oh, like a demon. What's this one too? Jeffrey Point. So there's two carts that will travel. Uh, the tour guide's around here. I'm just going to go and look at some of the uh, gravestones first, though. So these are the ones that that when uh, when. Everything gets uh, released and sorted. 
it's quite a big area isn't it uh, I forget which which level you have to back at to get it but you can get you can choose an ancestor's name to appear on a gravestone or to appear in this graveyard uh, I'm fairly sure I have got it I'm not sure how many levels below we needed to uh, get to a reward has been added bonus because uh, this is obviously it's a fairly high high level um, let's find something nice to stand Over to the top of the hill yeah I'm a fairly high level I mean I'm not up in the thousands of dollars one where you get a free castle but I'm up at the level where you get a free house and that's a uh, that's a fairly uh it's a fairly high uh, high pledge level. I've also got some add-ons. Right, where is it? Bonnet. Virtue Pilgrim Bonnet. There we go. Looking nice. Oh, look at me. That's the look we're looking for. And there we, there we go. That was the uh, R24 Grand Tour in Shirley Avatar.